Simon says subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. In this lesson, we're going to discuss the amazing clipboard history function within Windows 11. Well, let's say you have something that you've copied, and then you've got something else that you've copied, and then you've got another one, and you've got another one. Normally, when you copy something, it only stays in the clipboard counting the last one that you've copied. So there's no real history of it. Well, introducing Windows 11's clipboard history. Well, let's go ahead and go to our settings, and I'm just going to type out clipboard. And let's just see what we have here. Go over here to clipboard settings. And you're going to notice up on top, I have the clipboard history. Save multiple items to your clipboard. And it gives you the keyboard shortcut of Windows key plus V to view your clipboard history and paste from it. By default, your clipboard history is turned off. Let's go ahead and turn that on. And let's just see it in action now. I'm going to go over here to a Word document. And I'm going to copy that. So let's just go ahead and copy something from this document and I'll just go over here to copy. That's great. And let's go over to here to another document and I'll go ahead and copy something that's formatted a little bit differently. Copy that. And then you know what? Let's go over to here to Excel and I will copy, let's just say this guy right there. Copy that. And you know what? Let's get out of that and let's go over to here to a browser and let's copy this. Copy that. And I'll right click on that one and choose copy. Well, let's just say I want to put some of these things in a brand new Word document or maybe even in an email. Let's go ahead and see now. I'm going to do a new Word document and I'm going to do what the program told me to do, which is the Windows key plus V. And guess what I'm going to see here? All of my clipboard history. Isn't that amazing? So guess what? Even something that I copied four times ago, I can now paste into it. Beautiful. I'll go ahead and do Windows V one more time. Let's go ahead and bring that in and look at that. Perfect formatting comes in. Let's go ahead and take a look from another application altogether. So I choose that and look at that. It even brings it in in an Excel style format as a table. So it understands what I'm trying to do. And now finally, how about that one that we took from a browser? And beautiful, there you have it. And it does its best to kind of translate into the language that it is currently in, in Word versus a browser language. Right? But fantastic, I absolutely love this. Let's go ahead and go back to our clipboard history. And I just want you to notice a few things here. Number one, if I'm done with these, I don't wanna see them anymore. They're just kinda of getting a little bit too cluttered. I can go ahead and clear them. You'll also notice if I click on these three dots here, you're gonna see that I can then just either paste it in as just plain text, which basically means it's not gonna be formatted at all, or I can remove this individual one right from there. Okay, pretty cool. But let's say you have something that you use all the time and you always want that to stay there, you can pin it. Okay, so let's just say I'm gonna be just constantly using this heading. I can then pin this so it's always going to be there no matter what, right? So if I just kind of keep copying other things, let's go back to Edge and let's copy this and right click, come back to my Word document. And now I'll go ahead and paste that in. And then notice how this is still remaining. It's pushed down, but it still remains, right? So even though I'm gonna have more and more and more coming in, this will always remain. So now I choose that and then bam, there that is. So just to illustrate the point, let's just go ahead and copy a whole bunch of other things. So I'm gonna go back to this Word document here. I'm gonna copy that, bam, copy this, okay? Copy a few more things and now Let's go back to our Word document. And let's just see what happened to that one that I pinned. Guess what? It's still there. Even though all these other ones came in, this one remains. Okay, so there you have it. That's the clipboard history. Use it. It's absolutely essential and incredibly valuable. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.